Thank you all for taking some time to come over here uh, this afternoon. I, I know this is old news to everyone, but we really do uh, expect a major uh, snow event in Virginia Beach, uh, anywhere from 8 to 12 inches. At one point, we thought the greater uh, accumulation would be in the southern part of the city, uh, which is obviously less dense, but it appears it's moving towards uh, the more populated part of our city. That being said, we certainly want to uh, reach out to our citizens and tell them we're doing everything we can to prepare. But we also want to tell them to please get to the store and stock up. Uh, according to my wife, just yesterday, it was 30-minute wait in line at the grocery store. So I do believe our citizens are taking heed in, in doing that. I think we should also let it be known that once the snow starts, please stay off the road. Uh, we do not need anyone out unnecessarily and find themselves being hurt or requiring emergency assistance if they did not need to be there. Uh, the, another key thing is for neighbor looking after neighbor. Uh, people, some people might lose power, some might not. If they can assist a neighbor uh, in a situation, please do that. I'm also happy uh, there is a bright spot for us here. A number of years ago, if you recall, we had a major snowstorm, but it only impacted, it was just like this storm appears to be, which is going to be a coastal storm. So therefore, it did not impact the whole Commonwealth. That being said, the governor and the Secretary of Transportation were able to send resources from other parts of the state to help us uh, clear the snow. Uh, and it worked very, very effectively. It appears that will be the case this time. And I, I'm delighted to have our uh, Secretary of Transportation recognizing the seriousness of what's getting ready to occur in Virginia Beach to the extent that he is here today and also going to be here throughout the weekend. And uh, Secretary Lane, I'd ask you to make a few comments, if you would, please, as to what you're all going to be provided. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as Mayor Sessoms did say, we do expect this to be a significant event here in Hampton Roads, uh, primarily in southeast Virginia a little bit of snowfall in Richmond, but we are able to bring additional assets here. We have 550 trucks now on the roads throughout uh, the area in Hampton Roads, uh, 450 people directly involved in that. In addition, uh, at the request of the City of Virginia Beach and others in Southampton Roads, there's another 68 uh, uh, trucks and vehicles on the way here. 30 particularly right here in Virginia Beach to help move the snow. Um, I will reiterate exactly what the mayor said. Uh, do your business before this event starts uh, because while it's going on, both people clearing the roads, emergency personnel, helping those in need will need to have access and to the extent we can keep people off the roads, not only is it safe for you, but it gives them the opportunity to do their jobs. The, the next step, the precipitation is supposed to start later this evening. Uh, this afternoon at 3.30, I'll be on a conference call with Governor McAuliffe and his uh, emergency management team, uh, and he will make the decision based on that briefing to declare a state of emergency. Uh, I anticipate that uh, the governor, if he does, will be at uh, probably one just limited to southeast Virginia, but that would be a big help in terms of not only um, uh, having procurement of supplies, uh, heavy loads of trucks on the road, but in addition to be able to move the snow more quickly off the roads into water areas instead of having to take it to different places. Port of Virginia is expect, uh, expected to have to shut down operations sometime this evening. The, uh, the, uh, the port, uh, uh, the Coast Guard has advised us they're expecting uh, significant seas, lots of winds, maybe some blizzard conditions. So they'll have to suspend their operations and getting them back up to normal uh, as quickly as possible would be certainly help with uh, that declaration. So uh, I will be in, as the mayor said, uh, I want to thank him and his people, uh, the city manager Dave Hanson, Chief Police Jim Sears, and others um, for their cooperation. Um, and we'll be working closely with them over the weekend. Governor McAuliffe asked me to stay. Actually, I live here, so I'm glad to sleep in my own bed, but did ask me to stay down here in the operations center uh, through the event over the weekend. So the state resources will be there at the disposal, and Mayor, I appreciate your leadership on this. Thank you. And uh, I hope everyone understands, you know, Virginia Beach is a beach resort. It's not a ski resort. And to the extent we only have 35 trucks 
that are capable of, you know, moving snow in this city. These resources coming from the state are going to just be a huge, huge help. Again, I want to reiterate that the city is preparing, and I, I think we'll be in a position to handle whatever situation arises because of the excellent staff that's behind me. That being said, uh, I'm going to ask the city manager to uh, give an update on the overall situation. Dave. Thanks, Mayor. Secretary Lane, thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Uh, I'm pleased to report to the citizens and the businesses here in Virginia Beach. We have over 100 assets that are being brought to bear to uh, tackle the snow. We expect uh, anywhere north of eight inches, uh, maybe some locations that will uh, exceed a foot. Uh, it's a very changing weather pattern as we try to figure out what all our weather stations and our weather analysts are trying to tell us, but we're preparing for the worst. We've got, uh, as the mayor said, 35 assets uh, with plows and uh, spreaders inside Public Works. We've got uh, another 12 uh, VDOT specific trucks plus 18 VDOT contractors for another 30 coming on board from the state. We've got uh, uh, 16 spreaders in landscape management along with 15 more plows out of them. So uh, we're very well prepared with uh, uh, snow moving assets uh, here in Virginia Beach. What are they going to do? They're going to focus on our auxiliary and our main thoroughfares. They're going to go to our hospitals. Uh, they are going to go to our uh, government facilities, our fire stations, and they are also going to uh, commence work uh, late Sunday on our government facilities so that we have an opportunity to get back open. Our challenge is going to be our school system. Uh, as you know, I cannot get into the neighborhoods with snow plows and, and clear the neighborhood roads, so therefore the school buses can't get in there and pick up the kids. We're not going to see a melt until late Tuesday not until Wednesday. So we are going to be hunkered down in the city of Virginia Beach for a while. Uh, we have an, uh, uh, prepare, we're prepared to open an emergency shelter should we have to do that, uh, but we're not going to open one uh, to begin because, quite frankly, with a foot of snow on the ground, it's going to be really hard for people to get there. We'll have uh, possible National Guard assets coming in to help us uh, move through the high uh, snow. Uh, our public works, our public utilities, our parks and rec, even our waste collection team will be uh, on manning shovels and plows uh, throughout the weekend and into the beginning of the week. Our public safety teams, our fire, our police, our EMS are all upstaffed. They are uh, going to be in four-wheel vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles to, so that they can be responsible. Uh, we're fully manned upstairs in 911, and we'll be operational 7 to 7 on 311. So I think that the citizens and the businesses here should know that we're going to do our part, but we're going to need folks to just uh, be patient and uh, give us some time to get those doors open. I'd like to introduce our Deputy City Manager for Public Safety, Steve Cove. Thank you, Mr. Hanson. Good afternoon. Obviously, this is a, uh, a bit of an unusual event for us here in the city, this amount of uh, significant snowfall that we're expecting from a public safety perspective. Uh, I want to reiterate uh, what both Mr. Lane and the mayor have said. If you do not need to be out on the streets, we want you to stay put. We want you to stay at home. The time to prepare for this storm is now. Go get the resources you feel you and your family are going to need to uh, stay in place, shelter in place, at least through the first part of next week. Uh, we do not want people out on the streets. That's going to cause us more problems. We know we're going to have limited uh, uh, amounts of uh, public safety equipment that we can get to respond to you folks out there, our citizens and visitors. Uh, so we would ask uh, that you stay put so we don't have to uh, utilize those assets any more than we have to. We would ask you to be self-sufficient for about a 72-hour period. I think that will be helpful. Uh, and, and I can't reiterate enough to take care of each other out there, take care of your neighbors. From a safety, a personal safety perspective, we know we're going to have power outages, so watch those portable generators. Make sure you run those outside. Treat every power line that's down as live. Every power line that's down is live. 
portable heaters, especially heaters that run on fossil fuels, kerosene heaters, for example. We don't want those or open flames in people's homes. So just be mindful of all of those safety considerations, and we would appreciate it. We are well prepared to be able to take care of our citizenry, and we will do that to the best of our ability. These uh, men and women in public safety are here to, uh, to serve you. Thank you. Thank you. That kind of concludes our, our conference. Are there any questions? That must have been a good conference. <laughs> Thank you all very much for taking the time, and uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing each other throughout the weekend. Thank you.